Hello and welcome to the ILX Administrators webinar. My name's Alison and my colleague Alex is joining me today and we will be delivering the webinar for you. Today we're going to look at ILX Connect, which is a support service that uh, ILX offers you. We'll look at the support documents that we can provide you with, a full demonstration on the portal itself with all its features and functions, then following on with the exam options available to your delegates and the next steps um, which will follow on for your delegates. Okay, so firstly, who are ILX Group? Well, hopefully by now you will have heard of us. As a training organisation, we've been around for around about 25 years now. And uh, we're known for providing project, programme and IT service management training. All of our courses are fully accredited and globally recognised qualifications. We provide these through our digital e-learning, instructor-led classroom training, and we can also help with consultancy and implementation. ILEX Connect is a support service that we offer you as the administrators and also for your learners as well. For yourselves as administrators, what this means is that we, are, uh, we will help you implement the e-learning programme. Today the webinar shows you how to, how to use your portal, how to set up your users and use the reporting system. The reporting system within our portal is quite an in-depth report. But ILX Connect also sends you, the administrators, a monthly overview report and gives you a good view of what's happening within your portal, keeps you connected. If you have any questions about that or, or anything else, please do contact us at the support service desk here. We are quite happy to help you in any way, answer any questions. So um, our next thing we're going to do is, which is probably what you've all attended for here today, is a demonstration of the portal itself and all its features and functions. So we'll start that now for you. Okay, so as an administrator, when you first log into the portal, this is the overview screen that you are greeted with. So you've got all your information down here. So you've got your URL, the date that it was created, and the total amount of users there. You've got summary information about your course completion statuses. So you've got um, not started in red, incomplete in orange, and um, completed in green. So you can see from this portal that no one has actually completed their course as of yet. You've got the contact information down here as well. So you'll have your ILX account manager at the top, and also your name will probably uh, be there as well, along with other portal administrators on your portal. And then down here at the bottom, you've got your uh, course activity. So this is a live news feed that actually takes you through uh, who started their course, who's completed their course. And it is live, so you'll be able to actually um, report back on that information. And then down here right at the bottom, we've also got the active license summary as well. So you can see exactly what licenses have been allocated and um, what are currently um, not being used and the created dates of these as well. And you can see that the pie chart is actually dynamic. It changes as you hover over those. So moving on to the next tab along, um, the, the user tab up at the top here. This is where we will add our new users. And to start to add a new user, it's quite simple. It's email address, first name and last name. And disregard the next lines for the moment. And then you will have a radio button of next to available courses. It's just a matter of clicking the radio button and then creating a user. At this point, you can actually preview the mail that's going out and edit it. And um, it's just an outgoing mail for that person. So you can actually put some expectations in there or, or any message that you, that you require. If you wanted to, after you've created your, uh, not after you've created your user, but if you wanted to, we have some customization that's allowed on this page. So as you can see, so we've got the email address, first name, last name. We can actually put some extra fields in there for you, which we've done on this demonstration portal. And they can be named to whatever um, that is relevant to yourself. And that, that can be done by just contacting us and we can add those for you. 
So you can see further down here that the licenses are available, so you can see what's readily available, and you can just go back into the user and maybe add an addition, a course if you wanted to. And again, you can check the top box, which sends an email out to the user, and create the user. There is a template, uh, a standard template to this portal, which you can change, and it is the overall template for the whole of the portal. So you can actually um, change the welcome mail that goes out. Changing it here will change it for the whole of the portal and for every message that's going out. But please feel free that it is editable, editable for yourselves. Um, and again, if you wanted to just update a record and maybe you didn't want to send an email out, it's just the bottom radio button and add user. Once you've added the user, it then goes into your list of users. So then you would be able to find them there and locate them and maybe go in and edit the record. Here, if maybe you've made a spelling mistake or something like that, you want to just correct some information, add some information, or add an additional course. Anything like that is in there. And again, it's just a checkbox and update record. Quite simple. Um, you can also create a list of users that are on the portal and you can export that information from here. And again, it's just this changes the on-screen view and then you can export it to an Excel document. And that feature is also within the reporting tab, which is the next tab on. So actually from the uh, user table here, you can actually look at a specific delegate's uh, progress through their course. So if you click on a delegate, you can go into the uh, progress tab just here. And you can see that the courses that they've been allocate, allocated are uh, located just here. And then you can see the ones that they've actually started. So you can see Prince2 Foundation there is incomplete by this delegate. And you can click on this little play button there. And you can see all of this information that's uh, broken down into a, a more granular level for you. So you can actually report on exactly where within the course they are. So we can see this delegate's actually completed all of their sessions. They have only spent a minute in those sessions, so probably not um, intensive learning there. And you can see their um, first exam. So they've actually only had one, one attempt at the exam simulator, their first exam and their latest exam result there. And then that also breaks down uh, down here um, per question as well. So then if you want to go on a more uh, general report, if you click on the, the report tab, you've got all courses just there. So you can see that we've got the um, dashboard, which is quite similar to the summary dashboard. So we've got this information here, we've got our um, completion status information just there. See all your courses not started in progress and complete. Uh, you've got this uh, information, this completion status here. So this is normally a line graph, but actually no one within this portal has actually completed their course. But this will give you a month by month, by month uh, report on, on how many people have actually completed their, uh, their study within that month. You've got your active license information there as well, and you've also got your news feed, and that's more specific when you break down into the actual course, it's just there. So if you wanted to run, um, and run some reports um, for your delegates on, on specific courses, um, I think it's probably most recommended that way, you get a, a better overview. So if we, we pop down to maybe Prince2 Foundation, and immediately we see there's a summary. So there's just a summary on this course itself. Again, just telling you the progress of the people who have got Prince2 Foundation. We've got a license tab there, which actually breaks down the licenses that you have been purchased or had put on the portal. So we've had two sets of licenses put on this portal. We've got um, 10 purchased, 7 allocated, and they've got an expiry date of January 2017. And again, 
but another set has been added with 13 licenses, one allocated until April 17. And we can actually click on either of these lines and report on the set of licenses itself, or we can report on all foundation um, delegates. So for this um, demonstration, we've clicked on that. It is actually only one person within that um, report. Probably not the best one to demonstrate on. Um, maybe if I just go back to the license, the user progress, and we'll go on all. That's better. So it opens up all the people that have a Prince2 Foundation course on the portal. Um, and it gives us an overall on the view of the page, of, um, and we can scroll across there and have a little look. Or if you want to, you can actually export that document into an Excel file, and then you can manipulate the data to as much as you like afterwards. That's, that's quite a, a popular way of, of viewing the data. And again, here you can see the bar graphs on a certain person's record, and we click on there, and it will actually click us into their uh, personal record of how they're doing on their exam, which is quite useful if you just have, wanted to see the results of one person. So we have one more tab that's left on your portal, which is the configure button at the top here. And you have uh, access to all the all the resources that are on the portal here is a library of resources. Now, opening this tab, it, it actually shows you all the resources that are available for every course. And you do have access to that to, as an administrator. As a user, as they are maybe just given access to a Prince2 Foundation course, then you can see that um, the resources are grouped into topics. They would actually only get the resources for the Prince2 course. And they don't just see the relevant resources for, for the course that they're showing. From here, you can actually, if you wanted to, create your own set of resources. And again, it's just a matter of scrolling down to the bottom here. And there you can create a group. group. You name it, and it's like this one's been named Prince2. And then you, you will get the additional resources. You click on that, and you just add whatever you wanted to do to add in there. And that would create a library of your own resources if you wanted to add them. Again, in the configuration tab, there is another button here, which is the configure resources. Um, and if we click on there, we've got a, a few different tabs here. Um, this is where you can actually change the data that's on the portal. Any of the text, maybe you want to change from the standard wording that's on the portal to something that's more relevant to yourselves. Or maybe you want to actually um, add some messages in there for your delegates. This is where you would do it from. So each field that they log on to, um, there's a text field to it, and it can be easily edited just by clicking into there and, and just adding your own wording. The blue boxes here are actually um, links back into um, the data. So I would, unless you actually want to change the default um, default wording that's going to come up there, I would say to leave those alone. But anything else, you're quite welcome to, to change. That's not a problem at all. Um, maybe it's, it's a good idea, we say, to actually add yourself as a user. You don't necessarily have to add yourself as a, for a course, but then uh, you can see the lear learner's journey, and you can see the pages that they have access to, and then from there you'll be able to go into the relevant text field and change the text to uh, to be more relevant to yourselves and your company. The portal itself will allow you to upload an image, so you can upload your own logo there, and that's quite easy to do again if we click on the edit. It's just a matter of browsing uh, onto your PC, finding the relevant logo, uh, and uploading it, and, and it's quite simple to do. The template that when we were saying we created a new user, and I said you could edit the template that goes out again, it's it's you're able to access it here and edit it there. Might be easier to view it there than it is in the actually add user screen. And again, if you can just stay away from the links, which are actually 
preloading um, your company details in anything else is editable for you and you can just save the changes and then, then that actually saves that the template email that goes out for everybody and the next field is the information that all the preloaded and text fields that I'm saying to stay away from is where it's feeding from so uh, unless the details are wrong in there um, you're quite welcome to change it it's changed and it's set there um, so something to bear in mind I think. So finally um, just here at the top if the if you do have any difficulties with the portal you can actually get um, some helpful information from this help tab and this is almost like a bit of a kind of Wikipedia page and you can click on these different things and it gives you a bit of a run through of exactly uh, how to add users and all of the information that we give you um, in this demonstration. Exam options are available to you. Our most popular exam option is the online exam, which is taken remotely, individually, by the learners and uh, doesn't entail them to go into a classroom and it's less time spent away from their workplaces. We, through Contact Us, can arrange that for you. It's just a quick exam voucher and um, the delegate books a time and a date that's uh, suitable for themselves. Our other option is a public exam. We do run these in our classrooms and we have a schedule on our website which you can visit and have a little look to see what um, venues and dates are available for you. The other option is as an administrator you can actually become an invigilator yourself and arrange an exam to be taken on site. And again, ourselves at Contact Us would arrange that for you. Next steps. Um, this would be the, the learn for looking at the learners, really. We've set our users up. Um, hopefully, they've got their courses and um, they're ready to start their learning. And we run a webinar for the learners to just explain their features and functions and offer our support service here at ILX Group. If you'd like them to attend that, please contact us. Um, we do also, um, if you go to our website, they are available there and the learners can just book on independently to the available dates. I, I do recommend that. It is a good way of actually, uh, we run through the course itself and we just go through all the features and functions about the exams, hints and tips on how to get the e-learning done. So it is quite useful. It takes 30 to 40 minutes out of the, out of the time, and I think it's a good grounding ahead of doing the e-learning. So if you have any questions, please contact us at ILX Group. Um, our details are there on screen and our phone number as well. Please use those. We're more than happy to take any of your questions or help you with anything we have. Any questions, please use that. Thank you for joining us today, and goodbye. Thank you.